In the last video, Christianity, the unseen catalyst of modern science, it was concluded that it is fair to say that Christianity, with its belief in the Incarnation, was necessary for the rise of modern science, in that the belief of the Incarnation of God in Christ prevented Christian scholars from equating God with the universe, and thus drifting into pantheism, as had plagued Jewish and Muslim scholars before them. But it would be unfair to leave the Christian influence on the rise of modern science at that one point. To have a more complete picture on the influence of Christianity on the rise of modern science, it is also necessary to understand the Christian beliefs that motivated Francis Bacon to formulate the inductive methodology that lay behind the scientific method. Have you ever pondered how the pillars of Christian theology profoundly shaped Francis Bacon's conception of the scientific method? The intertwining of these seemingly separate realms of thought might surprise you. Francis Bacon, often hailed as the father of the scientific method, formulated his approach to knowledge acquisition against the backdrop of his Christian beliefs. This influential thinker held the human mind in rather low regard, viewing it as fallible and tainted by sin due to the fall of man. In his view, this fallen state of man left an indelible mark on human intellect, which could not be trusted to generate knowledge free from bias, incorrect presuppositions, or contradictions. As Stephen Meyer noted, because of man's fallen nature, humans were and are held to be vulnerable to self-deception, flights of fancy, and prematurely jumping to conclusions. Such a perspective, shaped by Christian theology, led Bacon to propose a new epistemology in his great instauration. Disillusioned with the limitations of logic and deductive reasoning, Bacon posited an entirely different means for knowledge acquisition, experimentation, and more importantly, repeated experimentation. This approach, known as inductive reasoning, marked a significant departure from Aristotle's deductive form of reasoning, which had dominated for two millennia. Bacon's inductive methodology, where repeated experimentation played a central role in reasoning towards a general truth, was a groundbreaking innovation. It set the stage for an explosion in knowledge of the natural world and technological advancement. This approach of bottom-up reasoning was a significant shift from the top-down deductive reasoning of Aristotle, where one's initial assumption of a general truth played a central role. In his book, Novum Organum, translated as New Method, Bacon was championing this new approach. A methodology that has since become the cornerstone of the scientific method and has proved immensely fruitful in gaining accurate knowledge of the universe. The emphasis on repeated experiments leads to more exact and illuminating conclusions than the educated guesses that follow from the previously dominant deductive reasoning. In essence, Bacon conceptualized the inductive method of modern science as a means to mitigate the cognitive damage wrought by human sin. It was an attempt to bypass the inherent fallibility of the human mind and move towards more reliable, objective knowledge. In conclusion, the Christian influences on the rise of modern science are more profound than one might initially think. They extend beyond the belief in the Incarnation, a belief which prevented Christian scholars from equating God with the universe and thus drifting into pantheism, as had plagued Jewish and Muslim scholars before them. The Christian beliefs that motivated Francis Bacon to formulate the inductive methodology were also integral to the development of the scientific method. Both the concept of the Incarnation and Bacon's belief in man's fallen sinful nature, and rather low regard for the human intellect's ability to generate knowledge free from self-deception, were both Christian presuppositions that were necessary for the rise of modern science. So next time when you marvel at the latest scientific discovery, remember the pivotal role Christian theology played in shaping the very method that made such knowledge acquisition possible. The intricate tapestry of scientific progress is interwoven with threads of Christian theology, creating a rich, complex picture of our quest for knowledge.